and you it should have set the, you up for the next thing you do. Right, so, right, exactly. So, so <laughs> you know, doing that, yeah, yeah. sliding out Trying thing is not helping you. Yeah. Okay, Definitely. and drift which way, out or in? Out. Okay, yeah. then take both hands to the inside. Both hands, fold. The wrap that, yeah, wrap that one right, or the right. Think about taking the right shoulder to the left. You think, about, you think that either shoulder would work. There you go. Drift, take them both <laughs> to the left. Straight back. Hold both as equally. Don't hold the right one. Ah, uh, the left one more. I hate it when I'm facing a person. I say the wrong yeah. thing. Good. So you take both hands around. Inside leg forward. Outside leg back. So that the haunch goes that way too. You don't mind them. That's it. Good. Both hands, both hands. And half out comes through the right one once in a while, too. Yeah. yeah. God. He really pushes against it, doesn't he? Yeah. Man, he pushes against that right ring. Woo-hoo. <laughs> so, yeah, do a smaller circle. Good idea. And take it towards, instead of pulling back too much, take it really towards your hip or your actually your other knee almost. Without losing the bend. The, the key is not to lose the bend. So in other words, you don't want them to flip inside out like our contact lines. Yeah. And he likes to do it on this side. Mm -hmm. He likes to look to the. So yeah, you have to put. Yeah, that's it. Enough. Yes. Yes. Good job. Good job. Enough to get it. I mean, you can do things, but if it isn't enough, you have to get it done. Like Wolf used to say, I don't care how you get it done. Bite him in the ear. <laughs> He never bit anybody. He'd come and scratch him and bite him, and he yeah. would say that. He never bit anybody. No. Anybody. <laughs> but like if the horse wouldn't do a yeah. lengthening. Oh, wow. Oh, good. good. Good job. Good. And the same thing with this. Your upper inside leg is on your inside seat bone. And if you're going to need your reins because he's starting to bulge out, then you sit and you tighten isometrically like it's tight for the whole time you're using your hand so that he doesn't flip. But it's still a shove of your seat bone. Good. All of his muscles good. really do this. Like, gets a good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Shoulders and yeah. shoulders and everything. Good. It's a little bit for beating. So you want to bring them together a little more with a half off, both reins? Yes. And then get the jump. Because when you half off, he goes more uphill. You see when he loses the, the four, uh, he, he loses the three beat and becomes four beat? Yeah. That's when it gets harder to keep him in the canter because the timing gets all off. Right. So the more the half off has to come through to shift his weight back, he looks really tired behind today <laughs> to me. Uh -huh. He looks tired yeah. behind.